In June, the business world was shocked by the sudden passing of the CEO of Business Connection, Benjamin Mopatlane. Now, Business Connection is one of the success stories of entrepreneurship post-democracy. Last week, the company announced that Isaac, that's Benjamin's brother, let me, let me say that again, Benjamin's twin brother and co-founder had taken over as the new CEO. I've got him in studio with me uh, to talk about this. It's so lovely to have you. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Leanne. It's an absolute pleasure. Uh, first and foremost, congratulations uh, on, on this new role. I, I imagine it's a, it's a bittersweet occasion, isn't Absolutely. It? It's a bit of bittersweet. Uh, I think in my view, if it was different, if Benjamin maybe was, was going to work and live in the States for three years and I was taking over. So I won't have that conversation, but we have to carry on. Yeah. Uh, we well, have a great business. Yeah. And a lot of people are depending on me to, to take it forward. Yeah. Life continues. It has to continue. Absolutely. And you almost have to shift into a gear that you didn't believe you had inside you to shift into. How are you coping? Uh, well, I think I've been, we've been all, as a family, we've been overwhelmed by the amazing support we've received in the business community, in our communities, our family. And I think that's just probably has given us and possibly has given me the strength to, to take the baton and, and carry on. I kind of feel it's, it's a journey that we've started. And one part of the journey, and it's a one chapter is which was with my brother, has come to an end. I've got to continue with the second part of that chapter. Yeah. Just remind viewers now, um, your role at Business Connection uh, while your brother was CEO? So we the co-founders of Business Connection, which we started 1st of September 1996. Um, I was responsible for the Kanoa division as well as sales and marketing within the group. I've ran the public sector within the business connection and innovation. So I've literally been with, with my twin brother from the day we've started the business. So I'm not at all uh, new to, to business connection. I've been part and parcel of the growth of business connection. Yeah. So it's, I mean, this is, this is something that you know, it's, it's in your blood. It's something that you, yeah. you feel fine. How, how, how are your employees feeling at a time like this? Well, I think there was a bit of trauma uh, with a lot of, a lot of our staff. Uh, I think purely the leadership that my brother had and humility and how he ran the business. But I think they were comforted that the fact that uh, I'm, I'm still in the business and I'm not looking to, to move on. Um, is, is to stay in the business. So I think we, th things are nearly begging, begging, getting back to normality and, and people are moving on with their lives. Yeah, and, 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 and that's unfortunately the way things, they, things need to be. Now, I believe that you're having a bit of a, um, a round table discussion where you're going to be talking about the vision of the company going forward. Do you have any plans to, to change anything or are you keeping it the way it is? Well, we, we're in the middle of a transaction yeah. uh, with, with Telcom, which is pending. Shareholders will vote on the 11th of, of August. But I think more importantly is that the foundations have been laid. So I've been part of the leadership uh, with Ben in defining the, the vision and the strategy going forward. I think what I'll be doing is executing on that particular strategy. We'll be a lot more agile in, in executing what we needed to do. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think there's, there's going to be wholesome changes in terms of the business. I think we, we have seriously have good management teams in place and our staff are committed to the course. Yeah. So this deal you're talking about is that 2.7 billion rand That's perhaps right. bid from, from Telcom, yeah. which is massive. So you're voting on this and when is that vote happening? 11th of August, our shareholders will, will decide on, on the share, on, yeah. on the actual vote uh, if, to see if, if they, they like the price that Telcom are offering. Yeah. All right. And then, then it's a way forward. Um, one thing I have, to, I have to talk about, and it's quite an important issue. I mean, something that happened to your brother is, is something that, gosh, we, we're, we're seeing happening around us to, to so many young men. And I'm not going to talk about women. I'm going to talk about men because it's been in the, in the media and hype for so long. Um, and, and powerful men, men that are in leadership positions. Now, does a company ever look at something like this and say, gosh, okay, now if this person has to pass away, do we have a plan in place to carry on? Um, is, it, uh, is this something that businesses should look at? Succession plan is, is what most businesses um, should be looking at, uh, and especially businesses that are quite big. 
that is something that you don't anticipate and something like an eventuality like this happens, it could put a business in a bit of a disarray. But we've been fortunate enough that I think even with Ben under the leadership, we've always managed the business on the basis that as long as we have capable management in place yeah. and we have a great team in place, uh, we are able to, uh, to, to deal with succession plan. I think it was a lot easier the way the board dealt with with a succession plan post post the demise of, of Benjamin. Yeah, and I think that's the that's the lesson to be learned is that having a good team, having that succession plan, and and a, and a business is not about one person. Absolutely, uh, we have seven thousand people in our organisation uh, who've contributed uh, to the success and, and growth of, of Business Connection. I think as leaders, our job is to identify the next future generation of leaders within our organization. Well, we are so proud of you and we're wishing you the best and the best of luck of everything that goes forward. And uh, if, if the, the telecom deal goes ahead, we wish you the best of luck with that as well. Thank you very much for hosting Thank me you. and definitely looking forward to life uh, without my brother. It's yeah. been exciting to uh, to vet what we've built together and I'm really looking forward. Absolutely and, and that growth that you're going to go through and, and no doubt he's going to be by your side while that all happens. Isaac, thank you for joining us. Um, Isaac uh, uh, Mopotlani who is now the CEO of Business Connection officially from the 1st of August. That's right. So I'm jumping the gun just a few days. <laughs> just a few days. Just a few days. The 1st of August he'll be taking over from his late brother as the CEO of Business Connection. One of those unbelievable success stories here in South Africa and uh, a great future ahead for this company as you heard. We'll be hearing about this uh, 2.7 billion uh, proposal deal from Telcom, whether or not it goes ahead once their shareholders vote. All right, time now to take a look at your market indicators.